Hello, CTA family. It is Coach Brandon here again for your Move Monday. I know we're almost through the month of June. Next Monday is our last Monday of the month, which is gonna be our next live boot camp. So make sure you're tuning in for that. But again, um, it's still Men's Health Month and I know we're almost through the month, but coming up right around the corner is July 4th holiday weekend. And just a couple things I wanted to talk about with that today on some healthy eating hacks, some healthy eating tips. Uh, but thank you again for joining in on this Move Monday. And hopefully if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll be coming out with a Monday, a Move Monday video every Monday um, and a Thoughtful Thursday video every Thursday from Johannes. So again, look out for those. But again, thank you for joining in today. Now with today's Move Monday, I wanted to talk about um, some healthy eating tips for July 4th holiday weekend. Now, these are tips related to um, alternatives or different things you can do to eat a little bit more healthy during July 4th. I know a lot of you are going to be uh, barbecue and grilling, eating a lot of really good foods, drinking a lot of really good beverages maybe, um, but I wanted to talk today about my five top tips for eating healthy during July 4th holiday weekend. All right, so my first tip for eating healthier during July 4th weekend is skip the bun. Now buns alone, a burger bun and a hot dog bun, very similar, have anywhere between about 130 to 200 calories alone in just the bun. Now something else to think about is that the average July 4th cookout meal is somewhere around 1,500 to 1,700 calories alone. If you tried to burn off that many calories, it would take nearly seven hours of walking to burn off just that one meal from July 4th weekend. So my first tip, taking out the bun, eating that burger patty, hot dog, bratwurst, whatever you're eating, eating that without the bun is going to cut down on calories and carbs substantially. My second tip for eating healthier over July 4th weekend are sauces or condiments. Now, those are can be pretty sneaky. A lot of condiments are very high in calories and fat and sugar and sodium. Uh, so one of the best things you can do are greatly reduce the amount of sauces and condiments you're using or use some healthier alternatives. There are a lot of lower calorie, zero calorie um, condiments and dressings. Uh, mustard's really low in calories. So there are a lot of condiments and, and uh, dressings and sauces that aren't too bad that you can find that are gonna be much lower in calories, but also still have some really, really great taste. So look out for those condiments and sauces. They are sneaky. Now tip number three on kind of along the same lines are decreasing your amount of liquid calories. Now, what we're drinking, whether that's uh, sodas, if it's, you know, Coke or Pepsi, or if you're drinking an alcoholic beverage, a lot of those, those are very calorie dense. A lot of calories consumed just through your drinks alone. Some healthier options for that, some lower calorie, lower carb beers, seltzers, hard seltzers, um, or just non-alcoholic beverages as well. You know, you have your uh, seltzer waters, you have your zero calorie sodas, a lot of good options. If you're trying to cut back on those calories that still taste good and are refreshing. So again, liquid calories are sneaky as well. Cutting back on those will help to greatly reduce the amount of calories you consume throughout the course of your July 4th uh, fest uh, festivities and weekend. Now going right into tip number four, don't overdo your sides. Now sides, usually the, you know, bringing all your sides in together are going to be where most of your calories are being consumed for your July 4th meal. So be aware of your sides, don't overdo it. Maybe uh, cutting down just your total amount of sides that you're eating or just switching out your sides, getting more veggies in. Some veggies can still be really good. Salads, uh, making sure you're filling in more so on those than higher density things like, you know, mac and cheese or cheesy potatoes, things that are gonna be much higher in fat and calories. So make sure you don't overdo those sides, find those green vegetables, find those salads, you'll be doing a lot better. All right, so my last tip for eating healthier for July 4th weekend, get higher protein foods. Finding those leaner protein uh, foods like chicken and fish, you're gonna still get a high amount of protein. They're definitely gonna be more than likely leaner. Now, what I mean by 
chicken and fish are gonna be more so the grilled options. If they're deep fried, if they're breaded, if tons of sauces on them, then they're gonna be a little bit higher in calories. But finding those grilled chickens, finding those grilled uh, fishes, you're gonna majorly cut back on calories while still eating something that's really tasty. You can find some low calorie condiments to go with it and still have a very enjoyable uh, July 4th meal and day and weekend. Those were my top five suggestions for healthy eating hacks over July 4th weekend. Whether you use all of those or some of those, I guarantee that your, uh, your calories will be greatly reduced in what you consume if you're trying to eat healthier, especially as we're in the middle of our 10,000 steps a day challenge. So again, thank you so much for joining in on this Move Monday. I look forward to seeing you uh, in the future as well as our live bootcamp next Monday. So uh, make sure you register for that and have a great day.